I was doing all the uh, uh, revision from the speed videos and also the uh, GTs they, uh, that were very good in speed. So I used to practice all the questions from there. So I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Preeti Joan for scoring a topmost rank of AML rank number four in DM Oncoanesthesia. Congratulations to you, doctor. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, thanks for your allocation of your time in your busy schedule to share your valuable experiences about the preparation, about the exam to the students who are viewing this. Thank you, sir. It's my pleasure. Great. Now, can, can we know about a brief background history from where you started till date, what I have done? Yes, sir. Sir, I uh, started my journey in MBBS. I uh, did my MBBS from uh, Grand Government Medical College, Mumbai. Then I uh, did my uh, MD anesthesia from SGPGMS Lucknow. And then I had to do my uh, postgraduate bond. Uh, so I did it in GMC Saranpur. And now I appeared for NEET as well as uh, AIMS. And I got these ranks. Excellent. Great accomplishments and great achievement. And you, uh, we wish to know why Onconesthesia? Because Onconesthesia is an end speciality. People will start practicing yeah. after that. Then you want to do a super speciality of Onconesthesia. What is the point of inspiration? How did you got that thought process and to do and to move on from there? <laughs> So AIMS Onco-Anesthesia uh, onco -anesthesia is an upcoming branch. Uh, the number of cancer cases are rising day by day. And uh, Onco-Anesthesia in AIMS gives us the opportunity of amalgamating the Onco-Anesthesia as well as the palliative care and the chronic pain management, which is a combination which is not available in the rest of the colleges. So and get it, and getting it from a top institute is all what I wanted. Great. And uh, can we know once you decided to do so and what all the preparation strategy underwent and you did to achieve what you are today? So before this, I was uh, I was giving exams for pediatric anesthesia. But uh, in the last six months, I uh, thought to switch to onco anesthesia. So I uh, had a background uh, already. I, I scored a, a rank two last year in pediatric anesthesia in INI. So it was easy for me to switch to other branch. So I was doing all the uh, uh, revision from the uh, speed medic um, uh, speed videos and also the uh, GTs they, uh, that were very good in speed. So I used to practice all the questions from there and also from the standard textbooks of uh, Hall and the MCQ books, the Hall and uh, Lippin Quartz and uh, the, whatever uh, uh, references were given uh, 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 that I used to go to back to the Millers and then refer from it again. Uh, that was Great. my strategy, sir. Great. Now, how many questions did you attend this exam, doctor? So I uh, attended 77 questions out okay. of 80. Great. Maximum number of questions. Yeah. Now, what do you be a message for your future aspirants of uh, superficiality in anesthesia or DM on anesthesia uh, for the message you want to give for the aspirants and juniors who want to do that? Uh, sir, I would like to tell to my juniors uh, to do their MD uh, with full dedication do all the cases and then uh, they, they can come to know what is their branch, what they want to do. Because I also change my mind a lot of times that I want to do CCM, then I want to do PEDS and then I later shifted to onco anesthesia. So whatever you have to do and you don't have to uh, think that this is the end. Uh, I just got this rank. You, you, you never have to give up. You have to Keep going. Even though I got rank two last year, I kept going that, no, I have to get a central institute. So I, determination is the key. And just reading your uh, standard textbooks and practice lots and lots of MCQs. That's the key. Great. Now, can you share something on the interview process? Yes, sir. Uh, in the interview, they uh, basically asked me, uh, they asked uh, for a rapid introduction uh, about all my background. Then they uh, asked me, uh, uh, they, they basically gave me a spotter question. So it was on ventricular fibrillation. So I told them all the management about the same. And then they also talked about the ROS, that is a, a return of spontaneous circulation. Then that, then a bit details of the ROS. And they also asked me uh, why I want onco anesthesia and also the name of the building, Bright. Uh, the building where the onco anesthesia department is so that's how the interview was so basically for the interview we have to be thorough about the ca lung cases and the hypec cases and uh, uh, crs and hypec and uh, that's it sir great now time to thank and whom all you want to thank they helped your career from day one till date to achieve what you want today 
so first of all i would like to thank my parents um, uh, god and uh, my teachers who were there in sgpj they were very dedicated and also my friends who were supporter and speed because speed was a great part in my preparation i i had even like uh, even my subscription had ended so i renewed my subscription for the 45 days for aims itself so that 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 how important is uh, important it was for me i mean it is very nice to hear that from you because <laughs> we have been waiting to hear <laughs> the success from students and when this happens and we are very very happy and we congratulate you for that and uh, we you, i mean we I mean really appreciate the efforts that you have taken to the last minute you didn't say okay i have done with that now let me manage yes, no sir. i'll do yes. with perfection what i wanted to do so yes, that's sir. what you are up to and for that the kind of the discipline and the dedication and the hard work that you have put into this process to achieve what you are today is incredible and you have I mean very inspiring to us Thank and you, to sir. all the students watching this video Thank so you, we once again we wish you all the very best and all the success for a great career in dm on corner cc i mean there are not n number of people of hong kong cc in the background in yes. dm and only you are few in the country and you are one among the few in the country <laughs> so it's thank going you, to be sir. a great journey ahead wish you all the best for that thank you sir thank you okay.